Hey everybody, let's get started on this box right here. This is my first order in, my first collection that's come in for the month of February 2018. Now, January was fantastic with two or three wonderful collections of red lines that came in, some other things. But this is the first one for February, and it is February 1st. This collection has come from Canada. It has come UPS to my house today. And it is time to open it up. So let's start into this box and see what's there. Now, there was, I knew there was a couple of blister packs. This one is a beach bomb. We'll go ahead and get that out. Let's take a look at it. it looks like an aqua beach bomb. And the package is a little worn. The other one is a Mustang, but I had a feeling that it might have been a repack. So we'll find that out in just a moment. And here is the Aqua Beach Bomb with brown interior. Looks to be in very good shape. I can't really quite tell the bottom, but that looks like it might be glued as well. But it may not be. This is very nice shape in the package. A little curious about that. I'm going to look at it in a little closer. Um, it just feels a little stiff down at the bottom. So... It might be uh, it might be original, but I'll take it under the magnification and check it out, and then we'll find out if that is an original. And here we go with the Mustang. Now the Mustang was back. Oh, yep, definitely a repack. Pretty obvious on that because the uh, package is wrong. They did a nice job and uh, of repackaging this, but if you can see the base. That's obviously well, well used. That base is well used. The wheels look nice. The car actually looks real nice, but there's just no way that you're going to have a base that looks like that in a blister pack. It's just not going to happen. And so this does feel a little stiff along the bottom. So if this one's uh, resealed, it probably the other one is too. However, the car is quite nice. It's an antifreeze custom Mustang and it looks real nice. It is an original 16 package, so that's also real nice. But again, this would typically have uh, a card underneath it, which when they repack this, they should have put a card under it so you couldn't tell. Also, you can see the tires are worn. I don't know if you can see that, but the tires are worn. But again, it is a very nice looking car. I'm going to take that and look at it under the magnification. That uh, hood seems to match. It's very, very nice. So let's get started on the loose cars. And um, somebody the other day said, hey, we don't want to see your hands when you take the cars out of the box. So I'm going to not use my hands for a minute. I'll just let the cars jump out of the box. Okay, cars, jump out of the box. Okay, well, that's not going to work. So we're going to go back to using my hands. Now I brought out my display case here because I wanted to put the cars in the display case as I get them because I think it's going to be a really, really nice uh, display or a really nice collection. Now, this particular display case came from, I believe, a craft store. And it's not actually a display case. It's actually a uh, shadow box with a front opening shadow box. So the front is glass and it closes nice, has a little magnetic catch. But the neat thing about a shadow box is it has this back which comes out. The back will come out and you can do some things with the back that comes out and particularly transport it very nicely. First car out of the box, antifreeze, Hong Kong silhouette in the antifreeze. These are a little hard to get the Hong Kong ones, but when you're in Canada, that's pretty much all you do get. So there you go. Looks to be in pretty good shape. It's got some toning, got some wear on the nose and uh, halfway decent. So there we go with car number one, antifreeze. Uh, and a pretty silhouette. Now, a lot of the cars in this collection are going to be purple. Going to be purple. Well, this one's not purple. This is a green beach bomb. And it looks to be in minty shape. Green beach bomb in minty shape. Very nice. Let's put that in there. And that looks real good. All right. I've just returned from the basement where I checked out those two blister packs and both of them definitely resealed. They're very nicely done, I will admit that. I will say that. Very nicely done blister pack reseals. All right, next car up, look at this. 
it is a purple heavy Chevy. Purple heavy Chevy. Missing the top stripes, but in decent shape. Not mint, but uh, very nice. It's rough paint on the top, but a good looking car. Looks like they've put US wheels on the car. Should have Hong Kong wheels. There they are. Let me wipe that down a little bit. A little hard to see a car up this close without extreme magnification. Let's take a look. Purple, a little rough on the top surface paint, but a nice car overall. The way around the fender wells and whatnot. But a set of US wheels on there. Hubs all around. Could be an earlier model, but there it is. Purple heavy Chevy. Let's go ahead and put that in the back. Maybe we'll get some other spoilers in here. So far, so good. Pulling them out one at a time. Plastic bags, the whole bit. And here we go with the next car up. And it is a reproduction pink 442. Now, I don't know who did this, but it does feel like an original 442. Got a reproduction. It's really nicely done. Although that interior does look like a reproduction interior as well. Definitely that. So, not sure what donor they got to make this with. But uh, it does look pretty good. You know, actually, this might be... Seems like a few years back there was a guy who made the whole car as a reproduction. This just might be that. Now, the wheels are original. Definitely wheels are original. I have to compare this to uh, an original. They did a wonderful job of putting this car together. Pink 442. Good way to get one since an actual real one about like this would cost you about $4,000. So what the heck? A reproduction pink 442. Very nice. I know there's a, there's a few oddball things in this collection. And that means... 442 and reproductions and repacks and repaints who knows we will find out in this video this is a nice car purple Hong Kong custom firebird beautiful beautiful car look at that yeah that's a lovely car really does have a nice look to it a beautiful shine purple Hong Kong Custom Firebird. Custom Firebirds have been real hard to find lately. This one is nice. Let's put her there. Custom Firebird Purple. I said there's a lot of purples in this collection. Open this up. I don't know. I might, I might just open part of this collection today and do the rest tomorrow. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a red U.S. No, I take that back. It's an orange ribbed rear window mustang an orange ribbed rear window mustang look at that orange very nice i've got a blue one but i do not have an orange one so look at that orange ribbed rear window mustang cool there you go with the blue uh-oh us mm-hmm Blue windows. Interesting. Is that real? Is it real? That's a good question. Blue. Are the windows supposed to be blue ribbed rear window? I know they're supposed to be U.S. cars. Good question. Double check that. I do believe that's the way it works. I do believe that is the way it works. I think I have to get some scissors. Cut these bags open. Next car up. A antifreeze Camaro. Antifreeze US tab base Camaro. Now there's a hard to get car. Those are early wheels on there too, aren't they? Got the sort of flattish looking wheels. Yeah, they look Hong Kong-ish, but they're not. They're US wheels. This is a very early. Look at that. Lime tail. Lime tail. US Camaro. That's a good car right there. That is a tough car. Green interior, the whole bit. 
That's a beauty. You don't find that every day. Lime U.S. Camaro. Everybody wants one of those. Definitely, definitely wants one of those, everyone who collects red lines like you and me. Purple Silhouette. Purple Silhouette. Not great shape on that one, but it is purple. Put that in there. Next one up at the 10 minute mark is the next one up at the 10 minute mark is a purple 36 Ford Coupe with tan interior and a nice stiff back rumble seat and got the champagne interior. That's a nice car, purple with a shiny front. Hard to find shiny front, shiny chrome, shiny base. 36 Ford Coupes. Take my word for it. If you don't collect 36 Ford Coupes, they are difficult to find with this beautiful purple or purple with the tan and the shiny front end. That is not something you can find every day. Now let's go to commercial and we'll be right back. All right, resuming with the next car up, the purple Custom Eldorado. Purple Custom Eldorado. That's a tough piece. Look at that. She is a beauty. Purple Custom Eldorado. U.S. Wow. Don't see that every day. That's a tough one. This car has a, this car, this collection has a lot of purples. All right, I took a short break and now I am back. Rearranged the cars a little bit, wiped a few down, checked a few spots, and here we go with more. Next one up is, holy smokers, a Rose Custom Mustang. This is a tough one to find right here. Rose Custom Mustang, wow. That is a tough car to find, that's a beauty. It is a beauty. Rose Custom Mustang. Wow. There's some sweet stuff in this lot. Stuff you just don't see. Oh, look at here's another fake. Purple Olds 442. I believe this is one of those ones they custom made, but they did put original wheels on it to make it look real good. And it does. It looks pretty darn good. So look at that. If that was real, we'd have $16,000 worth of Olds 442s, as it is. A few hundred dollars, I suppose. Next one up, Purple Fleet Side. Hong Kong, Purple Fleet Side. Nothing unusual there. Good all-around popular car. Purple Fleet Side. Very nice. All right, next up. I can't remember how many cars there are in this collection, but it is a big one. It's a big one. It's I have a bigger than the average collection. That's right, Barney. All right, wait a minute. Who says that? Who says that to Boo Boo? Uh, what's the bear's name? Hmm. Purple Ford J car. Decent. I see these a lot. Purple Ford J car. It's nice on this side with the original stripes. We'll drop her in there. Yogi Bear. That's who says that. Oh, uh, boo -hoo, this. I'm going to put these Hot Wheels in my picnic basket. There we go. All right, next one up. Oh, purple. U.S. Custom Volkswagen. That's a beauty. That is a beauty. Got a little chip on there. That is nice. Wow. Oops. Sometimes the camera hunts around for a focus. Don't mind that. It's not perfection. It's just good old fun on my 271st YouTube video. There it is. Purple Hot Heap. Purple Hot Heap. Very nice. Average condition, probably. Actually, paint is good. Does have a little wear here and there. A little dull on the base. I'm not a big fan of the bases of these things, but it's a nice all-around purple hot heat. Purple hot heat. Wow. All right. Here's another one. 
feels like a 36 Ford Coupe. It is. It's a pink 36 Ford Coupe. In decent shape. Looks like the front rivet might be loose. Yep. And it is pink. How's the toning? Not bad. It's not great. But it is pink. It looks pretty good. Put it there next to the Rose Mustang temporarily. Let's see what happens. Coming up next is purple Hong Kong Mustang. Come on. Find a focus. There it is. Purple Hong Kong Mustang. Nice shiny base on that one. Visible wear here and there, but decent. Hard to find car. Purple Hong Kong Custom Mustang. Another purple car. Might be about time to rearrange again. I will. I'm going to rearrange in just a minute. All right, here we go. Next car up. Hmm. Feels like a Corvette. Maybe it's purple Corvette. It is. It's purple Corvette. Yay, purple Corvette. I've had one purple Corvette Hong Kong before. It was missing the steering wheel. This one has the steering wheel, but it looks like it has some weird spots on the hood. But hey, if you want a purple Corvette, these things are not easy to get. And this is a good one. Very good. Very, very good. I wonder what those spots are. Hmm, might have to go check that out. Purple Corvette. What else is in this box? Oh, there's an entire layer more. Want to see? Let's go look. There it is. It's a whole nother layer. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen more red line hot wheels in this box is there another layer below that no just these 14 so i'm gonna take a little break and get right back at opening those and putting them over here in this beautiful display case i am back let's go back let's open some more cars here we go the next one out of 14 purple cougar what that's insane a purple cougar you know i have a purple cougar wasn't a blister pack, but the hood was messed up. It was actually had a broken hood pin on it. So I took it out of the blister the other day. So that makes two purple cougars. Now this is a great car. The purple cougar. Always a great car to get. Purple cougar. There's a lot more purples in this collection too. As we make a huge mess in the living room. Opening. Oh my, my, my. Purple US Camaro. Are you kidding? Nope, not kidding. Purple U.S. Camaro. I'm going to blow the dust off of this one. Always good to have a nice can of compressed air around. Dust off. Electronics duster from the Costco. Although the other day I was at the Costco and discovered that they'd put the canned air in some really ugly cans. I don't know. It's not a big deal, but... It's like an ugly can. This is a beauty. I have. N I don't think I've ever had my hands on a beautiful purple cougar like this. I mean Camaro. There I go, Camaro. You know, I get. Um, I get confused. No, I don't get confused. It's just that I'm staring at this, and it's hard to think about words when you're overcome by the beautiful purple custom Camaro. Probably the most beautiful car in the collection and probably the reason why I wanted to buy the collection. And let's go ahead and dust off the Cougar. How's that for a little stereoscopic noise? Stereoscopic noise. Now you don't want to rub too hard. I'll just wipe with my little blue rag. The purple. Can you believe it? Uh, this is like my birthday. This is like a beautiful day. It's a wonderful day at the Toy Car Collector. Dave Williamson here. I love red lines. I know you do too or you wouldn't be watching this silly video. Purple Custom Barracuda with purple interior. Purple with purple. Wow. That's a beaut. Oops, it flew away and now it's back. Got the dust off. Real nice. Of course, I will have to go over these with a fine tooth comb, but it looks like... 
They are very, very nice. So many purples. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? A lot of people collect just purple or specialize in purple. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, wait a minute. What? Oh, my. What? What? Oh, look at that. Brown Camaro. Are you kidding me? Oh, my. I'm going to wipe it off. Dust it out. Beautiful, beautiful. That's probably irritating. Look at that thing. Gorgeous color. Got a little tiny bit of wear on it, but man, look at that shine. Look at that color. Wow. Look at that. First time ever here at the Toy Car Collector. I'm looking at two fantastic, no, three fantastic Camaros. You just do not get this stuff every day. This stuff is in the realm of the Holy Grail when it comes to red line collecting. Holy smokes. Speaking of purple, purple beach bomb. Yeah. Oh, got flowers all over the front. Now, don't attempt to take those off. It's just not worth it sometimes. I think on this beach bomb, if you tried to take those off, I'm pretty sure that paint would come off. So I think I'll just leave it on there. Display it from the side. That's nice. That is nice. So let's move this back. We'll put the purple beach bomb next to the green beach bomb. This is some amazing stuff, people. Collectors. Fans, Romans, countrymen, purple charger, are you kidding me? That's right, purple charger, wow, whoa. This is not a rotisserie restoration either, although I am rotisserating it right now. This is a, oh, gosh, darn, purple charger, bit the dust. I think I chipped it, did I chip it? Maybe. Purple charger. Oh my, that is a beauty. I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit here. She is a beauty. Wow, purple charger. Cannot believe it. Hard to believe these cars. This collection, I am so fortunate to be able to acquire it. What do we have here? Oh my god, zing yellow 442. Yellow 442. Oh, this one's got the tight hood up in there. Don't attempt to open that. It is tight. Wow. Yellow 442. You know how hard a yellow 442 without too much toning is? Let me. It's actually quite nice. Needs a wheel swap on that back wheel there. Not too hard to do with these cap wheels. Look at that bling bling base. Wow. That is nice. Wow, we yellow 442. That's a real one. That's a fake one. That's a fake one. That's a real one. That is a real, real McCoy. Next up, another red line. What? Yes, it's another red line. Still feuding. Oh, golly. <whistles> Whoa, that's crazy nuts. That is crazy nuts. This is a great purple or a light purple. This is insane. A little faded, possibly. Actually, it's probably a faded. Now, look at this. If you look real close, wait a minute, what's that say? Hmm, aqua green olive purple. I was looking for something. That reminds me, I got a couple boxes. I got to get to the post up. This is a purple that's faded down. Look at that. You can still see some of the dark purple around there where the roof is. But man, you know, I think I might have had this car at one time in the past. She's a beaut. She is a beauty. Wipe it down there. Put it in the case. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. You know, a lot of times people ask me, hey, Dave, why don't you show us your collection? Well, here it is. This is my collection right now. Purple Python. Hong Kong Python. Purple Python. Yep, this is my collection. People, uh, I do share it with people. I sell the cars sometimes. Then I buy more. 
always like getting new cars. It's fun. I've been doing it essentially my entire life. That's right. Actually, I started collecting as an adult in the late 80s, and I quickly became obsessed. I am obsessed with collecting Diora, Hong Kong, purple, minty, with the boards. Purple. That's a beauty. This, everything in this collection is quite nice. Take those off for a sec, wipe her down. Especially like to wipe down the uh, the flat black. I have a thing about wiping things down. When I buy used things, I always have to clean them. It's like I want to wipe off the any residue of previous ownership so that it's new and all mine. Whoops, there I bounced the camera. Looks like there's a little spot right there of dust. Very, very nice. Yep, I am obsessed with collecting red lines. Totally obsessed. And there is another reason why purple Diora. Let's put it over here. There's more purples here than I had thought. There are exactly four more cars. Four more cars in this amazing collection. Now, this is not the only thing I bought today. Oh, another silhouette another silhouette i was at the uh, local department store what do they call those when you grocery store that has everything all the departments fred meyer oh purple hong kong love those purple hong kongs love those i always like to look at the clearance bin and let me show you what i bought look at that over there a nerf mega twin shock and strike two of those so that myself and my grandson can shoot each other. Yes, nerf, in strike, 10 shot, rapid fire. My grandson loves nerf guns. Kids, boys in particular, love nerf guns. All right. Oh, nice. I'm not at the end. There's still. Two more after this. I hope there's a beauty in there. This one's a beauty. Purple custom T-Bird. Look at that. How's that base? Nice. Purple custom T-Bird. Wow. That is a nice one. That is really nice. You like that? Feast your eyes. I'm using my indoor voice today. A little tired. I've been cleaning all day. Organizing. Cleaning. I am a master organizer. That is right. One reason I can do what I do with collecting is because I am obsessed with organization. Here we go. Oh, Beadnik Bandit. And it's purple. Hong Kong purple. Which is a tough little guy to get. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a Hong Kong purple Beadnik in the blister. This one's loose, of course. Very nice. Well, I take that back, you know. I think I have, I do have a purple in the blister. It is a ice purple, even lighter than this one. This one's gorgeous. I really should hold up every car like this for just a minute so you could stare at it. On your big screen TV, I hope you're watching my YouTube videos on your 50 inch plus big screen. Maybe I should have done this video in 4K. Hey, you know what? I think I will review this collection in 4K. What a great idea. It just dawned on me that this collection is so fabulous that it should be viewed in 4K. So, I will do that. That will be the next thing I do, is review this video, or this collection, in 4K. Last car, here it is. Classic Nomad and classically purple and has a classic uh, flaw in the back window, which I have seen before. I've got a few. They just had trouble forming the entire window. And there it is. Decent base on that. Very nice. Needs a little rub down for the purple Nomad. All right. So this is cool. This is a great really great collection 
and I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a long one. One thing I will tell you about doing YouTube videos, they are fun to do. I like making them. I like showing off the cars. I like talking because I only have customers to talk to during the day. And I like talking about red lines, but I'd rather touch them. I'd rather have them in my hands like this. Beautiful, classic Nomad. But, um, yeah, I do like making the YouTube videos, and I don't do it for the money because there's not any money in it when you only have a certain type of product like Red Lines. It's a small market, small viewership. About $2 a day I get for my 269 videos, and that's roughly equivalent what a popular YouTuber gets for making a 60-second video about farting. Uh, I think they get about the I think they get maybe 20 million dollars per video. Anyway, that's just silly talk. Let's go ahead and end this video and keep in mind that I'm going to start working tomorrow on doing this video in 4K. I don't know how long it'll take to process that, but you'll have the chance to look at a 4K video of some of the most beautiful red lines ever ever seen by me or by you. And they are fantastic. All right, now that is all for the giant collection. Mostly purple, but really super fantastic. Thanks for joining me. Please give me two thumbs up. Well, you can only give me one. And I do appreciate that. And if you're not a subscriber already, please be sure to subscribe because this thing is fantastic. Thanks a lot, folks. You have a great day. And I hope you find some beautiful cars like this. Get out there and put an ad on Craigslist. You may just find someone who has cars like this to sell. You never know. You got to work at it. And it is a hobby and it is fun. Thanks now. Bye.